In California, the Department of Real Estate allows real estate brokers to have an advance fee if they follow certain requirements. And the key requirements are this, that there has to be a, an agreement between the consumer and the broker clearly spelling out what the service is and how much they're paying. There has to be a refund policy. The money has to be put in a trust account and it has to be used for the benefit of the seller. If they fulfill all those obligations, then the department, after reviewing all the documents, will allow that upfront fee to be handled through a broker. So if you have a broker that you're working with that is asking for an upfront fee, find out if they've been approved by the Department of Real Estate, find out if they are abiding by the trust account reporting all the parameters of a refund policy, and then if you're happy with the service mm -hmm. and you would like to employ that broker to do that service, then you can go ahead and do an upfront fee. I don't quite understand an upfront fee for what to whom, by okay. from whom. That's right. There's, uh, there's a number of, of services that you can employ a broker to do for you. Like uh, is this in, relation, in regard to, to time shares only? Uh, actually, in a number of states, they've actually uh, started a uh, upfront fee or a separate fee to handle the processing of paperwork associated with a sale, uh, things that are non-recoverable by the broker. Uh, another uh, area that they use it in, and that's why this law was in California, was for mortgage brokers. They require a fee to go ahead and start the processing to, to provide financing for you. And the, and the uh, Department of Real Estate says, yeah, you can do it, but you have to put it in a trust account, and you really have to use it for the benefit of the... Who pays the fee? The, typically, they would be requesting it from the seller. From the seller, but not from the buyer. Not from the oh, buyer. Okay.